Welcome to Scale Car Models. Today I'll be taking a look at the 125th scale Revell 1977 GMC record truck. This is part of the truck series. This is a scale level 2 kit, which will require you to have glue and paints to complete the model. Now let me take a look around the box before I show you guys exactly what comes inside. Here you can see typical Revell fashion. Uh, it gives you some features and information about the model as well as the real truck itself. They also give you a paint guide here to the right. The length of this model is 8 and 7 eighths inches. It features 57 parts. They are molded in white as well as chrome, clear, and red. There are water slide decals included. And uh, looking around the box here more, you can see there's some pictures of what the truck can look like if you choose to paint it by the paint guide included in the instructions. And that's about it. Just a few more pictures. So now uh, let's take this out and uh, see what comes inside. Alright, on here you can see it got our instruction manual. This is typical Revell fashion here. It gives some information about the uh, model and the truck itself. Got a picture there and some information in different languages for beginner modelers. Uh, they also have something that I don't see quite often. This is a uh, little diagram here with all the parts that are included, as well as uh, just the instructions themselves. And on the back they give you a, a decal guide. So that's that. And here are the decals themselves. There aren't too many that are included, but they look to be pretty good. See there, they look to be pretty good quality. Here are some of the white molded pieces. I'll go over these at the end. Here are your six molded vinyl tires. And these are very nice tires. They're quite shiny, but that's about how all the tires are that you get. Here's another one of the white parts trees. Here's your chrome parts tree. And one thing to note about the chrome parts tree is that it is a satin chrome. It's not a very shiny chrome, which is kind of nice because being this is a wrecker truck, um, you don't really see really shiny chrome unless the truck's been washed a lot or it's brand new. Uh, and you have your wheels here, your dually wheels. Uh, the molding on them's pretty good. It's not the crispest I've seen, but it's certainly not terrible. Uh, you got shifters, some horns, uh, bumpers. Uh, I got some uh, other lights and stuff for the some shifters and stuff for the, the wrecker bed. Here's your air cleaner and uh, some other parts for the, the cab. Here's your glass and this is just uh, looks like there's two pieces here. There's the front and rear glass molded as one piece and then there is the light bar at the top which is molded in clear. Alright so that is it for all the parts so now what I'm going to do is I will open up these white parts trees here and then I'll go over all those and then I'll let you guys know what I think of the kit. Upon opening the two bags of white molded parts you will see that there are five parts trees plus the cab and the wrecker body itself. Now let me just go over these parts and uh, let you guys know uh, what I think of the quality of them. First let's start off with the cab and the wrecker body. Um, Oh yeah, one thing to note guys, like I said, there's only 57 parts in here and uh, most of it's molded in. As you can see here, the whole engine pretty much is molded in. Most of the detail uh, on the uh, engine bay is, is uh, molded in there. So that's one big downside of this kit. Uh, as far as flashing goes, I don't see too much. Overall on all the parts, the flashing doesn't look to be too bad. There's a little bit there, a little rough spot. Uh, other than that, um, you know, just taking stuff off, sanding it down. You know, the typical Revell kit here. Here is your interior tub, steering wheel, and front suspension. This be molded very nice, simplified, but nicely molded. The uh, seat is actually molded into the interior tub. Here's your main chassis, and you can see the bottom of the engine molded in, as well as the exhaust system. You have a push bumper here on the front, here's the top of your engine, here's your uh, wheel lift, 
on this parts tree here uh, you have your the bed of your wrecker body this to be a uh, front piece here to the cab there's your top uh, lights and everything for the cab and your hood Uh, here's some more parts of the cab, the interior. Uh, these are all parts to the wrecker. And the last tree here, you have your mud flaps. Here's your dashboard, your wheel backs, and your simplified rear suspension with drive shaft molded in. So that covers all of the white molded pieces. They all look to be pretty good. Slight amount of flash, nothing too big. Um, everything's pretty simplified, like I said, so that's one of the big downsides of this kit. After taking a good look at this kit, I can honestly say that I'm slightly disappointed with Ravel. Uh, this is a reissue that was released in 2011 according to the box, and I would have thought that, I'm not sure exactly how many reissues they have released of this kit, but I would have thought that they maybe would have updated it with uh, at least a little more detail. And uh, you can actually get this kit for anywhere from $20 to $25 I've seen them go for. So it's a little more on the pricey side considering it is basically like a skill level 1 model. You just have a few extra parts that you got to paint up and glue together. Um, so overall guys, if you can get this kit for you know 10 or 15 bucks, I would say go for it. But full price, I don't really think it's worth it. If you're looking for something for a scratch building project or you're really into scratch building and you want to convert this truck I've actually seen a few people who have done that they cut out the engine bay and uh, redid the chassis and everything then it's a great kit you know if you have a lot of time to put into the model it can be something really nice but overall just right out of the box guys I don't think it's worth the money uh, that's just my honest opinion I'm probably going to either sell this kit or I might uh, just use this for a parts truck so I'd like to thank you all for watching there will be lots more videos to come please subscribe if you haven't already leave a comment let me know what you think rate the video you guys all have a great day and I'll talk to you soon